When most people think of America's inland waterways, they picture a place of natural beauty, relaxation, and recreation. But there's another important aspect to our rivers and streams that many people never think of. Our waterways also provide a critical transportation network for many types of products, moving both into the heartland of our country and out to coastal ports where they begin the journey to countries around the globe. Behind the scenic beauty of our inland waterways flows an important national asset that many call an invisible transportation network. Many years ago, as our country was first being explored and settled, the waterways provided transportation for both settlers and the goods they needed to survive. In 1824, Congress gave the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers the responsibility of maintaining these waterways. Today, nearly 12,000 miles of rivers, lakes, and coastal bays, improved for navigation, are still providing transportation for many of the products we need and use every day. Each year, this expansive, flowing infrastructure carries over $80 billion worth of raw materials, agricultural products, and finished goods through our rivers and to the ports around the country that serve as portals to the rest of the world. Our inland waterway system includes 195 lock sites with 240 active chambers, operated and maintained by the Corps. The replacement value of this vital transportation network has been estimated at well over $125 billion. One of the Corps' most important missions is to ensure a safe, reliable, efficient, and environmentally sustainable waterborne transportation system for movement of commerce, for national security needs, and for recreation. During this program, we'll explore America's inland waterway system, guided by people who work and depend on the waterways. We'll learn how it strengthens our national security and energizes our economy by creating jobs and delivering essential supplies. We'll also discuss the challenges of finding a delicate environmental balance as we maintain this vitally important asset. Barge transportation is something that touches and affects the lives of so many people, and yet so many people are not aware of it. In this country, 12,000 miles of navigable waterways function along the borders of 38 of our 48 contiguous states. On those waterways, we're essentially moving a tremendous amount of cargo. 24,500 barges move approximately 630 million tons of cargo each year, and that means about 18% of all goods and materials that are moved around the country are moving on the waterways today. Barging and towboating is, is kind of like the, uh, is a quiet industry, uh, an invisible industry, you might say, that has a, a very large impact. We are right now at the Dayton Power Light Company Stewart Station in Aberdeen, Ohio. This station has a 2,400 megawatt capacity, which means it can actually serve about 2.4 million customers. The existing infrastructure, uh, which is the riverways, the navigation system, and the barge transport system, is the only way that we can get our coal delivered to our power plants to generate electricity. Low shipping costs, made possible by the inland waterway system, help keep our farmers and manufacturers competitive in the global market. Without it, other transportation modes, like railways and highways, would be significantly impacted. As many Americans know, our country is also a great exporter of our goods and services. It's important that our infrastructure, our ports, our system be able to accommodate not only the growth of products coming in, but most importantly, American exports going out to the rest of the world. We must have a system in place now and in the future that can accommodate that. The Pacific Northwest is primarily an export region. We produce uh, agricultural and forest products. They're relatively low value commodities. And so the low cost transportation that navigation provides allows our region's uh, producers to compete on world markets. We have built our wheat industry on being able to move wheat down the Columbia River. 
we export 90 percent of that and it goes to the Pacific Rim. I know that Idaho, Montana, uh, North South Dakota, even Nebraska sends wheat out through th through the port. A 15 barge tow can carry 22,500 tons. This is the equivalent of over 767,000 bushels of grain or 6.8 million gallons of fuel oil. To transport the same quantity via rail would require more than two trains containing 100 jumbo hopper cars each, stretching some two and three quarter miles. By truck, the tow cargo would require 870 semi-trailers, snaking over 34 miles along our highways and through our towns. All of this to match just one typical 15 barge tow. We'll bring up a 20,000 barrel barge of crude oil. Now 20,000 barrels would be in comparison, a truck would hold 150 barrels. So you can see how many trucks it would take just to get 20,000 barrels of crude oil up here. While the trucking and rail systems provide important modes of transportation for goods, neither of these systems could easily or readily handle the amount of goods currently being moved on our rivers. If a year's worth of cargo carried on our inland waterways had to be moved by other means, it would require 6.3 million rail cars or 25.2 million trucks, in addition to already existing rail and truck traffic.